Servus guys and welcome to another short tutorial of mine. I'm going to show you today how to install shaders to your Minecraft game. And first of all you need to start up Minecraft and uh, well select a certain version that you want to play with. Um, yeah, just get go to your profile, edit profile and use version. I'm going for the 1.7.10. This is very important because some shaders won't work with older versions or with newer versions. So start up the game, which is very important, that everything is, is loaded up. After it's done, just quit it again. And now we need the uh, Forge mod to install this. Um, this, uh, well, loads the, all the mods to your game. Just use Google to find it. I found it here. And uh, just go for an installer for your version that you just um, picked um, in the launcher, the Minecraft launcher. Just download it and start it. Just click, double click on it and you will see it just say install client and everything worked fine and f for the forge mod is now installed to your minecraft start minecraft again and you will see in the launcher you got another profile which is called forge this is the profile you're going to be playing with from now on if you want to play with shaders and other mods so start up minecraft again and you will see that uh, on the left bottom side um, there are three mods loaded, three mods activated because we got Minecraft Forge, 10 point whatever, just quit the game and uh, this is fine. So now we can install our shaders mod. Uh, again, uh, I googled uh, this mod and found some threads here and uh, for Minecraft 1.7.10 there is a Forge edition. Just download it and um, don't double click, just go to your Minecraft uh, place where you install it and go to mods and just copy it into it and everything is working fine because Forge will load up everything to your Minecraft which is in this mod folder so every mod that's in there will be um, loaded up um, and uh, you see Optifine is also in there so you will see on the bottom left now uh, Optifine and uh, on with uh, at the options you will see that we now got a point that's called shaders and uh, there are no shaders in Minecraft but now we got uh, also a thing here with shaders packs which uh, has been created while you started Minecraft with the shaders mod uh, just copy some shaders into this um, yeah shaders pack and um, make sure it's a zip file I downloaded it here from in the Minecraft forum these are Sildos shades and uh, Sonic others unbelievable shaders yeah just to show your comparison and yeah that's everything it you you um, do not have to restart Minecraft again and now we check out both of them um, they are already active and uh, they are uh, these are very small files so one shader pack I think has about 30 kilobytes so it's very uh, small and as you can see it this is normal Minecraft no textures used uh, just shaders and uh, well everything is moving the water and it's it looks very very nice I should have turned off the clouds but anyway so let's check another one um, this was Sildos version this is the Seos version and well everything is a bit brighter and uh, the water looks uh, different and but it's not my favorite, my favorite is the other one. And um, if you're using modded Minecraft with, uh, for example, Feed the Beast launcher or AT launcher, it works the same like this. Just put the GSL, GSLS um, shadow uh, shaders mod into your mod files, uh, like we did uh, now. Yeah, you have to, uh, with Feed the Beast, you might have 200 mods there, but just uh, copy it into, uh, into um, this mod folder and start up the game and then you will see uh, the shaders pack folder just copy it like like in this video and uh, it will work with your feed the beast or a tail launcher too so thank you for watching have a good day have a good week and see you next time servus guys